tomorrow is gonna be epic. I just uh, Are you just gonna stand there, or are you gonna take a seat? You wanted to see me? You won't believe this, but we did it. Did what? Remember that first account of Lil and Corruption I found in the Book of Thoth? You mean the story of the ancient pharaoh who was struck down with corruption and the traveling light worker who purified him? That's the one. Of course I remember. Well, Magic and I finally transcribed the incantation the light worker used. And I'm pretty sure we can use it to finally remove your psycho mom's corruption over Wanda. I have to say, I am impressed. You mean that? Yes, I do. Thanks, Hunter. Uh, that means a lot coming from you. But before you heap on the praise, there's something I should tell you. <clears throat> uh, full disclosure, the reason the Lightworker died was because he had to take on all that dark energy into his body, and he just couldn't handle it. I tried finding a workaround, but all the texts on Chaos Magic said the same thing. Corruption can't be destroyed. It has to go somewhere, or to, like, somebody. So, whoever removes it from Wanda will also have to absorb it. Please tell me you are not going to attempt to absorb it. You will surely fall. Oh, I'm not absorbing your mother's toxic energy. You are. Excuse me? B before you freak out, just hear me out. You're Lilith's kid. Out of everyone here, the only person who has a shot of absorbing all that dark energy and not falling is you. Besides, if you don't do it, I will, and then you'll have my demise on your hands. So, welcome aboard, Hunter. <sighs> when is this happening? As soon as we break back into Banner's lab. Oh, and uh, just one more thing, so listen up because it's kinda crucial. I'm gonna need you to memorize the incantation and recite it verbatim when you see Wanda in his lab. It's the only way to subdue her. It goes... <clears throat> Ego sum tenebris et venunt in domum suam iubet dominus. Ego sum tenebris, domun domini precepta your. Think you can remember that, Hunter? I do not know. If caretaker hears about this... Well, it's your job to convince her, isn't it? You need to memorize those lines as if your own life depends on it. Because it just might. Remember to study your lines, Hunter, because you do not want to screw this up. Emo kids for life! Privet, Hunter. No one can stop us. I just need to get Hunter on board. Hunter, I've got a theory. Wanna hear it? My theory is that it's underappreciated work to be an awesome badass loner. I mean, did you see what happened when Blaze read the parchment aloud? That was an act of mad genius. Blaze waited until the last possible moment and unleashed some of the deadliest magic known to man. You are easily impressed by his theatrics. He would not have been in that position if he had cooperated with us in the first place. Easily impressed? Easily impressed? We'd have all been demon snacks if it wasn't for Blaze. After all that, we still do not have the parchment. Without it, we cannot destroy it. Here's the thing. He's got no one to rely on. 
It's just him out there, facing this stuff all alone. He's not gonna give us something like the parchment easily. I think we all need to cut him some slack. Do not give him the courtesy of an excuse, Robbie. Blaze's behavior is endangering everyone. Not just us, but everyone you love. I'm just trying to understand where he's coming from. Once we understand him, we can figure out how to handle him. I once had the same thought about my mother. As you can see, I never figured out how to handle her. Nor did anyone else. Seeing Blaze in action really solidified some things for me, Hunter. And what is that? I still got a long way to go if I ever want to make my mark as a spirit of vengeance. Then you have work to do. Uh, yeah, I do. It's just hard to gain that kind of confidence when I'm always left on the sidelines. Anyways, I had to tune up the ride. She really took a beating out in the desert. Goddess must be busy. She believes in her purpose. Intriguing. Curious. I was always drawn to this place as a child, but somehow I had almost forgotten about it. Ah, I see. This rubble looks loose. That is something. Oster smiles upon me.
I need to find the next moon seal. Standing stones. There is powerful magic at work here. Sounds like I missed an interesting encounter with Johnny Blaze. Is the parchment of power really that important? Can we just get the crib notes version? I am disappointed, child. We must talk. The fool Blaze risks us all with his reckless antics, blindly wielding the parchment of power like a child with their first wooden sword. Who knows what horrors he could have unleashed? We are fortunate he did not destroy us all. Had you not forced his hand, perhaps he would not have used it, Mother. Men like Blaze need little justification for their actions, don't they? Besides, it was not I who set the soulless upon you. It's bad enough you and your misguided heroes are hell-bent on keeping the parchment from me. If someone, something else, were to get their hands on that wretched thing... Wretched? You would speak ill of your precious Darkhold? The Darkhold is many things. Precious is not one of them. The book has a will of its own. It enslaves then destroys any soul foolish enough to try and tame it. No matter how strong they may think they are. Better to help me contain the damage, lest it consume us all. Your forces butcher all in their path. You send assassins to cut our throats. Forgive me if I fail to believe you are trying to help us, Mother. Not us, child. You. Everything I do is for you. Despite how it may seem at this moment, that will never change. The parchment of power will be found. The dark holds will be made whole. He wills it so. Secret guardians, sorcerers and tinkerers. Your so-called family will shatter before the coming storm. But you and I will stand tall, precious child, united before the eye of the midnight sun. I would not count on that, mother. That looks good. Blaze is hothead, but he wouldn't act recklessly with the parchment. Blaze just plays by his own rules. Yeah, sure, sometimes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Blaze is pretty reckless. Consequences 
Jasper Blaze reading from the parchment of power. There are always going to be con- Hey, can I ask if it- My tongue and I are taste buds. Huh? Listen, Doc. It's not crazy if it works, and it will work. Hey, Hunter. Let me do my thing. Where get the don't read from the evil grimoire memo? Blaze's defense, Strange does send out a lot of memos. Wow, Blaze didn't hesitate to read. Is that Latin? Mine's... Another project? Must destroy the parchment of power as soon as possible. Ah, Hunter. Just who I was hoping to see. I understand you've already been on the hunt with Blade, so you're aware of our unusual visitor on the grounds? Yes, we encountered something Blade called the Bargast. His instincts were correct. I believe it is indeed the Bargast, or someone's attempt at creating a facsimile of one. Is the Abbey in danger? Not unless we provoke it. However, it seems to harness a dark magic similar to what courses through the barrier. I need you to track this bar guest, capture it, and bring it to me here in the forge. But please, don't kill it. It's my hope that I can find a way to use its magics to break through the barrier to the lab. After battling Hydra agents and Fallen, tracking a pup on the Abbey ground sounds like a vacation. Do not let your guard down, Hunter. As I said, it's no ordinary dog, but a demonic entity. I suggest you bring Blade and Wolverine with you. I believe the portal will soon be at its apex. I'll do my best to keep it stable until you can cross. I'll see you there, Hunter. Track the beast quickly. Time is of the essence. Back again. Fiery partition. The parchment of power really put one heck of a hellfire work show. I mean, parchment and whoop all kinds of soulless, but that's a good thing, right? But he also references. We go spider. Write it at the dawn of time, which, according to my knowledge, seems like it was... No point in hiding it, Hunter. I already got a whiff of that demon dog you're after. Blade said it gave you two the slip the other night. I want in on the next run. Perhaps that is what our hunt is missing. Your positive attitude. Me? Positive? That's a new one. But I am curious about this mystery dog of yours. This supernatural beast roaming the Abbey grounds has proven difficult to track. It only seems to appear at night. Still, Strange thinks it may be critical to breaking through the barrier. Blade's no slouch, and I've seen you in action. This thing must be the real deal if it's given you trouble. It is a Barghast. It resembles a hound, but it is not. It is a spectral omen of death. I thought I smelled a weird doggy odor out by your old crypt. I chalked it up to the side effects of your resurrection. Curious. I have no idea what this creature smells like. It smelled like hate and death and a freshly opened grave. It could really use a bath. This beast is vitally important. You say you picked up the scent near Hunter's Folly? Yeah, that's right. If I went back there, I could probably pick it up. No sweat. So... I'll meet you there? 
Did you just invite yourself along? Bet your ass I did. I'll see you at the Folly tonight. See you at Hunter's Folly. All right, Blade. Don't jerk me around. Maybe it's just a squirrel. Or the fact that she's happy we brought you back from the dead. Either way, you must teach her to stop barking. You know how every kid under the age of eight loves dinosaurs, space? Why do we ever grow out of that? I know a few dinosaur facts. Did you know that some Triceratops might have had as many as 800 teeth? I just got my symbiote beat. Yeah, but I'm a T-Rex man anyway. They were imposing creatures. Do you think you could defeat one in combat? Absolutely, 100%. It could be a hard battle. Oh, be easy. You know what dinosaurs don't have? Thumbs. No thumbs. And a tiny brain. This is a gimme. Can we do that again? Like right- uh, Charlie would not stop barking this morning. Parker's texting his family. I don't trust the olds when they are heads down like this. If anyone's going to blow up the Abbey, it should be one of us midnight sons. Don't get me wrong, I don't want it to come to that at all. Grizzly old biker dude. I don't want to waste your time, so I'll be direct. I overheard you, Nico, and Magic talking in the chapel last night. I hope you three are not planning another foolish excursion to rescue you-know-who. Nico and Magic care for Wanda deeply. So deeply they are having a hard time letting her go. Hunter, I need you to be straight with me. Are they planning another attempt to save her? Yes or no? Nico did not want me to tell you, but yes. Yes, they are. Ah, I knew it. What half-brained scheme is she planning now? She thinks she has a spell to remove corruption. She what? Unbelievable. If she doesn't get herself killed, she will surely take down whoever helps her. Thank you for telling me. I will speak to her as soon as we're done here. In the meantime, is there anything else you'd like to know? Or tell me? I have a favor to ask. Oh? When you talk to Nico and Magic, please go easy on them. They mean well. I uh, know. I just can't have them continue to endanger themselves or anyone else over this. Just be gentle. They are still grieving their friend. I'll take that into consideration. Why did you keep the parchment's location a secret from us? Uh, are we on that again? We are. Remember the wall of fire spectacle Blaze caused? You mean the wall of fire that engulfed the Solus? That was the result of Blaze reading the parchment, which is why I kept it away from this abbey. I care too much about the Suns to expose them to that kind of danger. So, I gave it to Blaze. It wasn't to deceive the team. It was to protect them. I think it might be a good idea to share your motivations with everyone else. Why is that? Because they are hurt, you left them out of the loop. And perhaps explaining to them that you were acting in their best interest might smooth things over. I will think about it. Now, is there anything else? What if we remove the corruption somehow? You already know the answer to that. Which is why I suspect you just told me of Nico's plan. It's impossible. Now that we know where the page is, it will not be long until Lilith finds it. 
no doubt. Do you... I mean, have you considered Lilith does not have a choice in the matter? What do you mean? She sold her soul to Cthon, right? For unlimited power, yes. But does that not mean she is compelled to serve him, even if she does not want to? What? Are you actually feeling sorry for her? Because she made her choices long ago. Perhaps there is a part of me that does pity her. Don't waste your pity on her. She doesn't deserve it. It was her decision to sell her soul to an evil elder god. She knew what she was doing. I have taken up enough of your time. I should go. We'll talk more later. Oh, Hunter. Thanks for your honesty today. Just saying, Abby could use a cat to counter Charlie's big dog energy. I've been texting with MJ a lot lately. Did you see that whole thing? I bet they saw that in space. I haven't spelled anything. I heard the Dark Hole pages were dangerous, but I did not expect gouts of fire belching into the sky. I was thinking more like curses. Ooh, when are we gonna slay some vamps? We aren't going anywhere. This is a solo job. Uh, you know how boring solo jobbing by yourself is? Come on! No way. You're too distracting. I need to be focused out there. This could be a great bonding experience for us. We could touch stakes. Blade, you should bring Deadpool. Ha! Ah, see? Let me go put on my vampire hunting undies. <sighs> Thanks a lot, Hunter. I had to learn to work with you. So should he. But you aren't Deadpool. Don't tell me. You, day Dead cat wrapped in cabbage? Huh? Huh? What? Huh? What? Huh? What is that? That is a hemolisk. Uh, the face not even a shemalisk could love. If that is a face. Because maybe that's its. Okay. Mm, definitely not the face. It's a vampire egg sack, which means now we're on the lookout for... Vampire bacon sack? Huh? Get it? What do we have? A full infestation? If we're lucky. Then I suggest you eliminate the threat before the vampires can get any stronger. On it. Or we pop that sucker like a giant zip. Yeah, no, your idea's great, too. Do what you can down there, Blade. And try not to lose your cool with that merc. Cough! Did you forget I can hear you? That's okay. Probably just a senior moment. I wouldn't poke that horn at us if I were you. I'm great with fossils. You probably just need your daytime meds and a nap. Now listen here, you little... Oh, I love you too, Granny. You kissed the mother with that mouth? It's weirdos like these that give people like us a bad reputation. Maybe you should 
try something. Neither of us aren't something you just stumbled on out in the open. There must be a major infestation here. Wouldn't it take time to establish? Apparently, something's off here. Slowly, the plot thickens! Should get the blood bumping. birthing new breed vampires at an alarming rate. Oh, these aren't the neck-biting handsy types from the movies. Whatever happened to them? Blade? I think you might be my soulmate. Don't get in here. Places where the new breed vampires leave remains. Don't puke in the mask. Don't puke in the mask. about hemolisks spreading throughout the city. Did we just become best friends? Enough. 
All good. The healing factor will fix me up. You do know I have a healing factor, right? Well done, you two. What the? I'll come with. Or should I just stay? Right. Okay. Good talk. These that give people like us a bad reputation. About time. I haven't seen a feeding frenzy in years. Not the vampires I'm used to killing. Aren't you normally death incarnate to them? None of this is normal. These new breed vampires don't know my name. Maybe you're slipping since you started. Yeah, keep digging that grave. surprisingly well together.
Uh, can you come to the chapel? Blade is pissed. Even for Blade. Hey, it wasn't that bad. Are you serious? It was awful. Quit being a pussycat. No one got hurt. No one got hurt yet. I don't care what you do in your off time. But when we're out on missions, you don't jeopardize the team. Got it? It's cute when you set up boundaries. I'm serious. You pull any of that crap that might put us in danger, and it's over for you. End of discussion. Don't worry, I'll stay very far away from the guy with the pointy stakes. Thanks for the save there. I thought Blade was gonna stab me again. Are you all right? All right is subjective, but I'm still breathing. I was hoping the two of you would not fight. I can play nice all day when we're out there kicking bad guy booty, but asking me to make friends? Barf. I am simply asking you to be nice. It is not that difficult. Gotta stop you right there. These are my co-workers, not friends. I do not understand the distinction. When we go out on missions, that's our job. We're all playing for the same team. But asking me to get a drink after? That's what friends do. I'd rather pluck my eyes out with a rusty fork. I don't care if people don't like me. I can't blame them. It's hard being the most skilled, attractive, funniest, and humble person here. They could start an I Hate Deadpool club. I'm already a founding member, but for 20 bucks they could join. You're only here for a short time. At least make the most of it. Ah, like a true choose-your-own-adventure. Gotta dump all my points to Charisma. I am being serious. And it was very cute. I listened, all right? Are you and Blade going to be okay? I'm not going to lose any sleep over our squabble, but I can't speak for him. Just try not to anger him. For me. You missed your opportunity to make me pinky promise. What happens if you break that kind of promise? You cut off my pinky. Don't worry, it'll grow back. <laughs> you smell it, Hunter? That ain't right. There's something dangerous creeping around out of here. Present company excluded. That is the scent Blade was tracking. Blade, huh? Yeah, he's got a pretty good nose for this kind of thing. Not as good as mine, though. Feel like snooping around? Let us get this thing. Okay, I like that attitude. Grab your dog and follow me. I ain't much of a conversationalist, more of a fighter. Where'd you get that dog anyway? I know it ain't from the pound. It is a long story. We got time. When I was younger, Lilith would send wave after wave of her children to attack the Abbey's defenses. I trained with Agatha and Caretaker by clearing out whatever monsters were lingering around the perimeter. One day, an entire pack of Shadowhounds tried to swarm the gate. They did not have much of a chance against us. And when the smoke cleared, there was Charlie, the lone survivor. Didn't have a heart to finish the job? I do not know what it was. Something about the look she gave me. I could not put her down. She was sleeping at the foot of my bed by the next night. Sounds like you got yourself a friend for life. The portal stayed open this time. Yeah, 
Almost feels too easy. Guess we go in and kick its ass. Mind if I tag along? How long have you been standing here? Long enough to watch that thing run right by you. Well, are you gonna brood in the dark or come with us? Wouldn't miss it. Hunter, hold on just a moment. What is it, Doctor? I doubt that portal is going to stay open forever. The creature you've been pursuing, I suspect now it may be some kind of Hydra experiment, or worse. The Barghest? I thought we had all accepted its mythical origins. I'm skeptical that the beast just jumped from the pages of ancient lore. No, there's something else afoot here. We had planned on putting it down regardless of where it came from. Actually, if you could bring it in alive, I think there may be a great deal we could learn from it. No promises, Doctor. You do remember who my hunting partners are? Yes, I realize you're all very eager, especially Wolverine. But do your best. It is just as I suspected. Hydra! I knew they were behind this. The pieces all came together a bit too perfectly. You're telling me all that mythical creature hype came down to this? At least now we know for sure. Gets on the ugly one. <laughs> Want it done, right? Gotta do it yourself. Now it's... Maybe you should teach me that one. Thing gets feisty. No promises. Time. Uh, 
I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. You're gonna talk, one way or the other. intent on protecting the bar guest. I would think that's a good indicator of its potential value to us. Or maybe Hydra just doesn't like us and the dogs are relevant. Did Tony put you up to this or providing color commentary out of personal curiosity? I'm just here to make sure no innocent dogs are harmed by your theory. The power of the light. I'm impressed. Let's do this. Your act will not be broken.
by now, I would hope we've all seen enough of the bar guest in action to understand its nature. It's a little mean, but not any worse than the rest of them. Yes, maybe it is just scared of unwelcome intruders. I've yet to hear any other proposals on how we might break through the barrier. If anyone has a non-bar guest solution, I'm all ears. Never seen that before. I'm gonna rip you one. Now that was something. efforts a bit here? Doing the best we can, man, Doc. Like you keep saying, it ain't a dog. It's you and me. Too weak for this fight. Give the mother my regards in hell. had your chance to escape. Your mother fell. Saw a ghost. Feel my call. Once again, Lilith's servants fall. Magic may be powerful, Doctor, but I am still impressed you managed to contain the Bargast. No less impressive than your efforts to capture it, Hunter. I believe in its weakened state, the creature will remain bound here. And what do you plan on doing with it now? 
The first step will be carefully transporting the beast down to the forge, a delicate operation I plan to handle personally. Why don't you come by tomorrow before I begin the actual research? I'll know more then. So, why are we keeping this thing alive? The material properties of the animal's skin are amazing. Sounds like serial killer talk to me. I hate to admit it, but I may need Tony's assistance for this. Man, you see the teeth on that thing? Blade, is something the matter? You tell me, Hunter. Do you need a second to calm down? Look, I'm not trying to be an ass, but Deadpool is testing my damn patience. I noticed. I did not think he would test your patience so soon. Well, he broke the record for seeing how quickly he could piss me off, that's for sure. What happened on the mission? I stabbed him. All right. What happened? Deadpool was messing around, not taking our job seriously. So your solution was to hurt him? You're acting like I did it for fun. I didn't stab Deadpool because he's a pain. He was doing his own thing and got in the way. The battlefield is chaotic. Just be aware of each other. It's kind of hard to do that when you're working with the physical manifestation of chaos. We have to learn to work with him. Hard pass. You do what you have to do. But I'm not going out of my way for him. Thought it might be nice to get away from the others and not talk for a change. So we are going to fight again? Not exactly. You've proven you can handle yourself with a sword hunter, but a warrior's greatest weapon is their mind. Yoga requires discipline, balance, and control. Three things I'm hoping you've got in spades. How about we grab a couple of mats and find out? Agatha instructed me in multiple postures from the original sutras themselves. I would be happy to show you a few techniques. Well, I didn't exactly learn my asanas from the mall, Hunter. Okay, Blade. Let us do this. Was hoping you'd say that. Now sit down, relax, empty your mind. Or as Magic likes to say, pretend you're Robbie. <laughs> 